All right, folks, Pitching Ace 88, and we are back playing Criminal Case on Facebook, case number eight, additional investigation in Pacific Bay and Blue Bayou. Now, I'm going to start this off by saying I'm going to start something really cool. Um, along with giving you guys shout outs for commenting and liking down below, I'm going to start linking my videos from a long time ago, videos that I've done uh, for the way back when so for right now I'm gonna be linking um, Sudeki down below and if you guys like and comment over there um, I'm gonna basically name everyone and give shoutouts to um, everyone or at least most of the people that comment on my old um, Sudeki walkthrough so down below you can click on the link and you can go there you comment you're for sure to be in case number nine chapter one so let's unlock this Ace, this investigation was rough. I'm glad we're done with this forest. Oh, really? I hate to break it to you, Frank, but you're not done yet. Have you forgotten your community service? Judge Dante sentenced you to that job, and you'll do it even if I have to physically drag you to the forest. Oh, but I'm going to die of boredom alone there. Please, Ace, could you come with me just to keep me company? I swear I'll make it back to you. Perfect. Ace can make sure you don't bail out. Now be on your way. Ace will join you in the forest in a minute. Good, now that he's gone, I can be honest with you, Ace. I've been trying to get Colonel Spangler on the phone for hours. He released Hannah, but kept her laptop. I know she illegally hacked the military servers, but I don't trust the Colonel with the data on her computer. Could you come talk to him with me, Ace? That'll make a stronger impression. I can wait until you're done in the forest if you'd rather do that first. Actually, Andrea, <laughs> based off of anything, like I normally would like to investigate, but I feel bad and I want to, I want to help my, my captain. Colonel, you seem too busy to answer my call, so I'll be quick. You still have my text expert's computer. I'd like to have it back now, please. Chief Marquez, it's not up to you to decide what I do with the assets retrieved. It's not up to you either, Colonel. This computer belongs to police force, not yours. The data it contains is important to ongoing investigations. And if you don't... All right, all right. The computer's just outside. You can grab it on your way out. It better be there, Colonel. Don't forget we have info on Project Audrey. Deputy Chief Ace, let's have a look outside. Yeah, but we don't really know if you're bluffing, Chief. <laughs> okay, now at this point, I don't really care. Thank you for accompanying me, Ace. I didn't want to be left on my own thoughts with mosquitoes for my only company. Man, I've been craving a drink since the incident with Harvey. But, no, you're right. Let's clean up this darn forest first. Don't drink. Don't drink. All right, whoa. I forget this place. <laughs> Got all the stars, and you, and then it's like two days, and you don't know where anything is. Okay, so there's a skull, but that's not a broken skull. So anyways, let's go gloves, microscope, squirrel, wash bottle, uh, shotgun is... Broken skulls down here. Radioactive sign, curtains, axe is up here. I don't know where this water wheel is. Oh, there it is. Trash bag, scorpion. Where the heck is a shotgun? I never. I don't ever remember finding. Oh yes, it's 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 only part of the shotgun that's out. That's what always would throw me a little bit. Hey Ace, you know I'm the one supposed to pick up garbage here. And you're right. Darn, these look like broken bones. All right, we better have a look at this. I'll bet you that these are the bones that they fed to the fish or fed to the plant. They're gonna be like it's gonna be like a rat head or something like that. Actually, it really looks human, but what do I know? Ace, you were stored a skull. It looks like a human skull. I hope this isn't the start of another criminal investigation. And you're right. There seems to be something written on that white plant. Or white paint. Could you inspect these half-erased scribbles? Oh, it's probably going to be Princess Mabayo. She probably did something in the in the woods or something like that. That'd be my guess. Oh. Ace, this skull is even creepier with these symbols. What kind of freak would use this skull as their drawing board? 
Well, we can't bury this head in the sand now. We have to identify it. Let's send this skull to Roxy. You're right. Yeah. Ooh, nine hours. There's the nine hour one. Let's investigate the military. So guys, always remember to comment down below. My bazooka laptop. Uh, dynamite. Spider backpack. Backpacks here. Burger. Sledgehammer. Spider. So I think it'll be really cool. I think for every uh, video that I now do, I'll link an old walkthrough of mine for you guys to kind of check out. Um, and if you guys do check it out and comment and everything, um, I'll even be including you guys in the next video. Good job, Ace. This is Hannah's laptop. I'm relieved. The Colonel had every right to keep it after her stunt. I hate juggling with the law, even to protect my team. I don't trust him, though. He could have put a spying bug in Hannah's computer. Could you unlock it, Ace? I want to make sure it's safe before we bring it back. That's actually very clever. Good job. But I mean, honestly, Hannah can probably hack into the computer. Looks like an Alienware computer, actually. Uh, oh no, it's this one right here. Watch, it's gonna be this one. Yeah. Yep. Remember, it's it's always one of the letters is not that letter, even though it looks like it could be. I'm impressed, Ace. Cracking Hannah's laptop password can't have been easy. You're good. Should I worry about having another hacker on my team? But that blue screen is worrying. You're right, I knew it. Colonel Spangler and his men have tampered with the laptop. Hannah should be able to figure this out. I just hope she won't do anything stupid in reprisal. I know what she's capable capable of, believe me. Okay, so there's the three hours. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I'll see you guys back here. Thank you all for watching. This has been Pitching Ace 88. Au revoir. Alright, folks, Pitching Ace 88, and we are back. Back. I'd like to give a little shout out to Yvonne John Gabriel, Madeline Sullivan, and Miss Mizu. So thank you guys for liking and commenting very much. Let's finish off the painted skull. Ace, you can rest easy. That skull you sent me isn't human. It's monkeys. The skull you found belongs to a brown spider monkey. It's an endangered species, actually. If you find who provided that skull, punch them for me. Not to mention the drawings. I did some research on the web, and guess what? They're part of a voodoo ritual. It's a scary process, trust me. You don't want the details. Ha, <laughs> you're right, Ace. I bet you it's my bio. I couldn't find her for making that voodoo doll of me, but this time she won't get away. I, I already told you guys it was going to be my bio. Never listen to me, man. Always, always saying that we have to have evidence before we arrest people. Crazy. Well, thanks for retrieving my computer, Ace. Don't worry, guys. I'm not upset by the fact that it's been fried by Colonel Dimwit. <laughs> I'm furious. Most of the content is ruined. The only way those jocks could have achieved this would be by sending an electromagnetic pulse through my laptop. But they didn't do it on their base. I put a GPS on my laptop, and I can tell they brought it into the abandoned lab and fried it there. I'll go inspect. You won't go anywhere, especially not to the old lab, without Ace. Remember the central station incident? I can't cover your personal vendettas. Hey, I swear I'll behave this time. Ace will make sure I keep my cool at the lab, right? Of course I will. I'll be a babysitter, because that's exactly what I want to do. Let's talk to Mobio. Let's wrap this little thing up. So, Miss Mobio, Deputy Chief Ace found your monkey skull in the forest, and... Can't a priestess work in peace? I used a skull in a protection ritual. Some soldiers were worried the spirits of the forest were angry after their colleague's death. Your investigation angered a few spirits. If anything, you should thank me. The ritual was excruciating to perform, and required a lot of very rare items, like this skull. I accept that this is an endangered species, and therefore illegal. Come on, my bio, pay up. Fine, take my money. You don't think we're done, Deputy Chief Ace? I've warned you already, you're not welcome here. Just use more innocent props for your mumbo-jumbo next time. Really, Ace, this is exhausting. How about a lunch break? I'll pay. Nice. I wouldn't really be pissing off a voodoo priestess. Just just saying, Frank. She doesn't seem very uh stable to me. Uh 
Alright, let's see what we can find here. Alright, so we got Apple, Adam drawing. Uh, I thought it was over here somewhere. Oh, it's up here. Magnifying glass, magnet, watermelon, wine bottle, X. X is up here, wine bottle is up here. Dropper, briefcase, fish and banana. Banana, fish, and portrait of Einstein. Hey, a shiny new suitcase in the middle of a destroyed lab. Ace, I think you found what's left of the army's last visit here. But I, I can't get my tablet to work. Darn swamps. Do you mind taking a look at the suitcase while I try and get some signal? Of course. Do more of your work for you again. Anyways, we're almost done with the percentages, so can't be too much longer. Oh boy, gotta put it back together now. My tablet keeps acting wonky. It's so frustrating, Ace. What did you find in the suitcase? Looks like a weird mix of technology and dirt. Well, really life puzzles aren't my thing. My tablet won't let me scan it. I'm sorry, I'll have to let you put this thing back together. Yeah, no worries, no worries. I'll put this little thing back together. I've got skills. I think I have skills. We'll, we'll find out soon enough. Okay, I probably do, because this is looking good. Oh! Nice repair job. The item you found looks like an experimental plant incubator. That screen even shows the plant's genome. Isn't it a small carnivorous plant? Oh, hey, okay. I got my tablet to function a bit better while you worked. Let me scan this incubator to figure out how it works. Oh, the, the incubator has short-circuited my tablet. I'm just getting an error screen, like the one on my laptop. Oh, I'm sick of this place in the military. I took my laptop here. That incubator must belong to them. Let's go have a word with Colonel Blockhead. Okay, might not want to call him Colonel Blockhead. Just throwing it out there. Where did you find this incubator? It's military property. Deputy Chief Ace found it in the abandoned lab. You know, the place where you took my laptop and fried it? You don't understand. This incubator is the last one left from Project Audrey. I had to try to get more data from it. The growth formula isn't enough. I thought I could use the laptop to transfer the information from the incubator safely and merge it with the data that you had hacked. You don't know what it's like, being stuck in these darn swamps. I thought I could, be, I could get the experiment starting again. I'd get promoted to a decent part of Pacific Bay. Forget it, the incubator's dead, and the data Ace had collected has been fried with my laptop anyway. Oh, I know. Alright, I'm done with this cursed project, Deputy Chief Ace, I swear. Here, take this as a show of goodwill. Camo shirt, love it. I'm glad to be back, Ace. I really feel more comfortable in my lab, surrounded by fully functioning computers. I wish we I knew where there's such bad reception in the swamps, though. Hannah, I'm glad to see you didn't do anything stupid. Promise me you won't get revenge on the colonel. Don't worry, it's not like it's the first time I've been put in a cell for getting my hands on some critical information. I didn't hold it against you, did I? Yeah, I remember. But you're part of my team now. I trust you to stay on the right side of the law. I won't be able to cover you next time, Hannah. Got it. I'll keep my virtual hands to myself. Now, Ace, thank you for your help. I need to go back to my high-tech and mosquito-free lab. Dude, I have to agree with her. I'm glad to be done with this community service. The station is much more comfortable. Unless freaky. I don't understand why everyone is into voodoo, especially Mabayo. She's too gorgeous to be a voodoo priestess. I just wish she'd stop threatening us. Nobody likes it when we investigate around them, Deputy Chief Ace. But people in the swamp seem particularly reluctant. Your princess is Mabayo. She's, she's, she looks pretty nice. Oh, look at that. I got a gold medal because I got all the stars on this. So now we can basically buy this for three, buy this for three, buy this for three. Those all go away, and now we can unlock to go to the next case. And we'll be going there in the next video. So anyways, guys, like, comment, 
I'm going to throw you guys down there, Sudeki. If you guys like and comment on that video, I will showcase you guys in the next case, along with commenting on this one. So I'm actually probably going to have about five people that I'm going to give shoutouts to in the next video. So thank you guys all for watching. This has been Pitching Ace 88. Over and out.